Hello! In this video we are going to talk about how you can connect an external drive to your Azure Virtual Machine. So in here I have running a virtual machine and remember that to connect to it we have to click on the connect button and an RDP file is going to be downloaded. Now before I click on it and connect to the virtual machine I actually want to show it on the folder and in here I need to right click on it and I need to go to the edit option almost to the top and in here I can go to the local resources tab and to local devices and resources and click on more. In here as you can notice I have connected an external drive on the E and on the drivers section I actually have listed that particular hard drive, no, I'm sorry, external drive. I click OK and the settings should be now established and I can now click connect to establish a connection to that remote uh, desktop. Everything will go as normal, I need to connect to it and I need to and write the username and password and click OK and it will try and connect to that virtual machine and while it connects you have to bear in mind that of course those settings are only saved to that particular RDP file so if I were to download another RDP file I would have to do that all over again because it is only saved to that particular RDP file that I downloaded previously. Uh, I'm waiting for for the virtual machine to to connect. It appears to uh, it appears that it ha was installing some updates so I will just wait for it to, to finish. Okay, once connected to the to your remote desktop, all you have to do is go to the explorer, to the file explorer, and right on this PC, you should be able to see your drive, which is going to be called uh, the letter, in this case E, on and the name of your local machine, not your virtual machine. Okay, so if I try to open it uh, as you can see I can see all the files that are available in that particular external drive and I of course can copy them uh, to wherever I have them or to wherever I like you have to bear in mind though that it is sometimes very slow to, to move files between an external drive and a remote machine, a virtual machine hosted in Azure. It's not recommended to use it to transfer large files. After all, there's the cloud and I believe the cloud would be faster unless you want to transfer files like this file that is one kilobyte or an image that is 42 kilobytes or something like that not to large files like an ISO or you know big files but as you can see it works just as you'd expect you have all the files available on your remote desktop so that's it for this video I'll see you in the next one